Hey everyone, this is Android Cemetery, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add ambient occlusion to your models. So first thing we want to do is select the model, go into the material properties, and then add new material. Then we want to go to shading. I'm just going to move this over here for the time being. I'm going to press Shift A, click on search, and the first one on the list should be ambient occlusion. Just in case it's not, you can always type it in here. So I'm going to click it, and move it over here. I'm going to press Shift A again, press search, and type in color ramp. I'm going to connect color down here. So I'm going to press Shift A, click and type in mix, mix shader. I'm going to connect this shader down here to the bottom one. And then I'm going to connect the color to the factorial, which is this one, FAC. And then connect the mix shader to the surface. So you don't see anything happen yet. We need to be in the viewport shading. And also make sure that you're on cycles. So go to your render properties, make sure that you click cycles. And you can see that the model now has ambient occlusion applied to it. In the settings, you can adjust the distance of your ambient occlusion. So you can see it's affecting a much wider area. Usually I tend to keep this as the default. And with the color ramp, we can adjust the amount of ambient occlusion we're going to put on the model. So if I move this up, you can see that the ambient occlusion is much darker. Now the reason why the ambient occlusion is very dark down here is because the ground plane is affecting the model. So for example, if I move this down, you'll see it's not affecting the bottom of the mouth as much. So say for example, we want to keep the ground plane where it is and make sure that the ambient occlusion is not going to be affected by it. We can go to ambient occlusion node and we can click only local. And you can see when you hover over it, it says only consider the object itself when computing AO. So click that and you can see we fixed the problem. Now I usually keep the ambient occlusion as black, but you are able to change the color. So if I move these out of the way, if I press shift A, search and type in diffuse, If I plug that in, I can change the color of the ambient occlusion. Now just to finish things off, I usually make sure that when I'm rendering a model that the ground plane also has ambient occlusion and that just makes the render a lot more realistic. So easily I can just select these three nodes, click Control C, select my ground plane, add new material, move this out of the way, Control V, connect my shader to the bottom shader and the mix shader to surface. Now you can see how the ambient occlusion is affecting the model a lot more clearer when I'm using a cube. So for example, if I just connect this back here, you can see that the shadow is nice, but that's because I'm using a few lights. But you can see when the cube is on top of the floor plane, there isn't any ambient occlusion over here. So I'm going to connect the shader back into the surface, and I can adjust the color ramp to make it a little bit more darker. And you can see that the render looks a lot more realistic with the ambient occlusion. Just make sure that when you copy these nodes over to the floor plane, that you untick only local. You can see when I had only local ticked, it's not affecting the cube. So make sure that only local is unticked. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I will see you in the next video.